Well, here's the, some, yeah, here's the some yeah. bags and stuff. Uh, these, um, yeah, my heyday was a few years ago, um, where I, you know, I had really good years. This was the cover for uh, the Idaho Stallions, our indoor professional football team. Um, then I did uh, just a lot of magazines. I mean, I've done tons of magazines. Um, let's see. And now, I work in different medium. Yeah, and you work with the bass every once in a while. I see that right there. Yeah, this is um, the Gunfighters, which is the F-15 um, and the F-15, the F-15, the F-16. This is the A-10, and this is the C-130. But this is Gowan Field, so it's kind of cool. It was kind of fun. I mean, the concept was uh, uh, Colonel Henderson, who um, I did a big mural out there for his um, cowboy control. Right. And this was his idea, actually, to do this. Then I had the idea, well, why not make a town and then put, like, on the saloons the different uh, squadrons, you know? So represented in here are probably most of the squadrons. I mean, here's the uh, Warthogs, the 390th Warthogs. Here's the 389th um, um, Thunderbolts. Um, this is go over here. 366 Gunfighters um, and some of the squadrons. And on some of them, too, I actually put, we put, um, we sold a lot of them for, oh, they had some kind of peace thing or, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is fun. Um, a sad note on this is the kid that modeled for all of this was uh, Daniel Dobbs, who's a good uh, who's a good friend of mine, neighbor, for a lot of years. But um, geez, he uh, he died in a rodeo accident. He's actually in this painting right here too. This is uh, this is Daniel. But he modeled for me a whole bunch. Oh, okay. He's my neighbor. Great kid. I mean, every time our cows got loose, you know, there's Daniel helping us get the cows back in. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now, now you do murals too, right? Yeah, I do murals. Um, pretty much whatever um, makes money. <laughs> well, you know, ideally I would like to do. Well, I have a whole a lot of things I'd like to do. Well, yeah, you, you got your hand in a lot of things. You're, you're a muralist. <laughs> you're an illustrator. You're you do T-shirts, and what else do you do? Commissions, like what you're Or oh, commissions, like, yeah, commissions, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. right now, actually, I'm designing some backgrounds for, oh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Voice of Prophecy. They're doing a new web page, but here's a pencil drawing. But this is, um, it's it's a, a kid's Bible um, adventure web page where they come on the web page and um, they, um, it's like a discovery thing. But they yeah. They do like Bible, Bible questions and stuff. Um, so that's yeah, something else. I mean, backgrounds. I've done like movie videos too for um, oh Canadian Bible Society. Yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. So how do you how do you, you get the word around? How how do you market yourself? Well, you know, I think that the way I approach it is if I get a job, I just go all out, you know, and then I do a great job, and then I probably put way too many hours in, do too much, way too much work on it get paid way too little, you know, I don't know, but, but the thing is then is that they notice, people notice. You know? Right. And so, then, if, if, see if I do it for a, a different publisher, and they go, who did that? Wow, they did that for $500. Okay, well, and then they hire you. And then I just, it's just all networking. It really is networking. Mm -hmm. You're not in, in the uh, Yellow Pages or... Uh, well, I am for t-shirts, but not for illustration. Flesh. Illustration, well, I started out, I was doing caricatures right out of college at the Carter Mall, and then I ran into Kim and Lars Justinen. Um, and I recognized Lars's name because he'd done a, a famous painting called uh, What Happened to Your Hand. Um, but then I got in a conversation with him, and I was, you know, I had a lot of my paintings there. So then I ended up working for them for about 10 years, and that was a big foot in the door. Oh. Um, and it's very unusual to get a job uh, illustrating today. I mean, because... It's, you know, it's different, you know, the, the, the golden era of illustration was, of course, back with Norman Rockwell and Howard Powell and N.C. Wyatt. Right. It's not now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not now. <laughs> but, I mean, you can make a living, but you need to, you need to be working on the computer, too, so. So it's important to have the computer. Yeah, everybody wants emails. In fact, um, when I, I used to mail paintings. Like, most of these, you know, were a few years ago, and I mailed those. The originals. Okay. And they would mail it back. And that's, you know, that's probably 50 bucks just in mailing there. And think of how much that saves for the, for the publishing companies that, you know, what I do now is I scan them. And then I, I tie them together in the computer when I scan it. Because I can't scan right. the whole thing at once. I use a little Hewlett Packard scanner. That's like a little window. Yeah. And uh, they're hard to find anymore. 
But anyways, I, I use it, I think it's a Hewlett Packard 2740, something like that. I don't know. But you scan it in pieces and then you tile it together on the computer and then you email it. And usually a big, about a 10 meg file. And there, there you go. There's a book cover. And I'll do a job for, you know, New York, Maryland, you know, anywhere. Um, and actually I'll even do work locally, even for neighbors, and I still email it to them because it's just easy. Well, yeah, it's so much and, and uh, convenient and easy. Yeah. Yeah, and fast. Fast. Oh, it's immediate. Yeah. Think about. I mean, I remember. I have like hundreds of stories of meeting the UPS or the the Federal Express guy or running down to the airport, you know, to carry packages, <laughs> you know, conjoling my way in and to, to to deliver an illustration or or you know. <laughs> I remember one time I actually met the uh, FedEx guy. I told him I'll be at the uh, Burger King Chevron down here. And he I'll met you there? there? Yeah, he says he's, he's running his errands. I said, okay, I'll meet you there in 10 minutes. And then, you know, I see him at the stop sign and hand him my package. But that isn't unusual. I've done that a lot of times. They know you by heart, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a small town, so everyone knows everyone. <laughs> I have a funny uh, story attached to that, but I don't want to go there. <laughs> I actually was so busy on a deadline. I um, had a, my Pepsi and I had to go to the bathroom really bad, so I went to the bathroom in a Pepsi. Oh, God. <laughs> As I was leaving it, I drank it. Yeah, holy smokes. I was so. You know, it's like that. Sometimes I don't even have time to go to the bathroom because I got like, I gotta, you know, there's 45 minutes, I gotta get to the, you know, just crazy stories about illustrating, which, which is fun. I think sometimes. You know, I like to work up to the 11th hour, 12th hour. But I'm not, like, procrastinating. I'm usually working the whole time. Right, right. Yeah. And then, um, let's see, you work in um, oils, acrylics, and air. You do mostly, oils, uh, mostly acrylics. I love acrylics. This is acrylics here. Yeah. Um, this is acrylics except for the face is oils. But I love... Why I mean, that? Well, I saw an Norman Rockwell show. They had, actually, we were very uh, lucky. Um, it was here at the um, History Center here in Boise. And there's about seven originals, and he does, he did transparent oils on the faces, and it has a depth that I wasn't getting. So I, I, do, I try to do different techniques. Wait, wait, he did in pencil first, and then he did the transparency? Well, no, um, the old masters used to paint by doing uh, layers. They would start with black and white, right. like a Vermeer right. or uh, Rembrandt. They would start with black and white, and then they would use um, like yellow ogre and French vermilion in the areas. And I just... just know, Keep on building, keep on building. Yeah, and transparency, and, and what's neat about that, though, is it kind of builds up sort of a, kind of a luminosity to the painting, and if you see originals. I was just at the St. Louis Museum about five days ago. Oh. My daughter graduated from basic training there at Fort Leonard Wood, and wow, yeah, I just got to see um, Chardin and Delacroix, and uh, they had a Rembrandt and Rubens, but it was from the studios, but those were really nice, and oh, I just, I just eat that up, yeah, I mean, that's... That's just great. I mean, I, that's what I want to do is just to, you know, be a great artist. <laughs> well, yeah. Did you go to a lot of art galleries and stuff like that? Uh, not as much as I'd like to. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been to the Louvre yeah. uh, or the Prado, but they're destinations. I have all the paintings memorized. I could go through and show you who did what, you know. <laughs> so. Yeah, I study art all the time. I always, I'm always looking at it.